Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone, good morning. How are you all today? Sorry, I have to turn off my camera because my unstable connection. So before we start our lesson, let's pray together. Pray begin. Finish. Today we are going to learn about recount text. So please go to mandy.com and entire the code. The code is nine triple three three four four five. Nine three 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 four four five. And then try to answer the question provided. Question number one is what do you know about account tax? We have to answer here, describe the events on the past and retell past experiences. Good job everyone. So the definition of account tax is a tax which tells about something that happened in the past. And then the purpose of context is to provide information or to do entire time the reader so that there is no conflict. Next question. What are the generic structure and language feature of recount text? Okay. The generic structure of context are orientation, events, and reorientation. In orientation, that's who was involved, what happened, where the event took place, and when it happened. Events, that is a recording of events that occurred usually delivered in chronological order, such as in the first day, in the next day. In this section, there are also personal comments about events that are told. And the last one is reorientation, consists of optional closure of events or ending. And then, language feature of the context, there are Using declarative and interrogative sentence in simple past tense, using adverbs and adverbial phrases to indicating time, place, and manner. For example, yesterday, last month, an hour ago, and so on. Using conjunction and time connectives to sorting events. For example, first, then, after that, before, and so on. Using singular and plural nouns with or without uh, the, this, those, my, there, and so on. And now I will show you the example of the context. Wait a minute. This is the example of Recondex. The orientation, it is on the first paragraph. And then events on the second paragraph. And the last paragraph is reorientation. After discussing about the definition, generic structure, and language features of the context, I'd like you to create a dialogue about past experiences with your partners. Then submit your work to Google Classroom. I have sent the link via WhatsApp group. You can submit here. And the due date is next week. 
All right then. For individual assignment, please go to kahoot.it and enter the code. The code is nine two one five three seven three. Okay, salsa here. The code is nine two one five three seven three, and also Jax is here. So I will start now. Three two one, go. Read carefully and then choose the correct answer. Yes. I add. Add is the S, the correct answer because this is using a simple past time. Next question. Julio blah 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 an active student last year. Great job. So the answer is was Julio was an active student last year. Next question. Choose the correct answer. Yeah, good job. Next, next question. Yeah, that is the example of recount text. Next question. Yeah, simple past tense uses form of verb to. Next question. This is the last. Great job, everyone. Whoa, check on the first place. So, I think that's all for today. Please stay safe and stay healthy, everyone. I will see you on the next meeting. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.